Hi folks, uh, we are taking a look at Scarlet Blade today, which is a game that's going to prove controversial, to say the least. Now if you took a close look up at my character then, you'll know why it's going to prove controversial. Scarlet Blade is a adult game through and through, it's for 17+, plus, and it includes quite a bit of nudity, and that's about it really for that. It's. It sounds like it should be a huge, huge thing, but it's not really. You're either going to accept it and play it as if it was a regular MMORPG, or it's going to freak you out a little bit. And I'll be honest, I was a little in the second camp. Everything is so sexualized. Everything is. You know, you'll see in a minute that I, I recorded some of the running, and everything is so over the top in that regards that it can be quite uncomfortable to play it for any length of time. It, it feels a bit like you're spying on people. But that's that's the shame of it really in that this is actually a pretty good example of the free-to-play MMORPG genre. If you've ever played anything like Eden Eternal from Area Games, no matter how if many you've ever played you something like Perfect World or you know, any of the games from Perfect World, basically, then you'll know what you're getting into, and this is exactly the sort of game you'll love. You'll really, really Monsters enjoy it. Monsters and PvP zones but, are tougher to kill, but make you much you know, more experienced. The big thing that separates this from other games is the nudity, is the adult content. And here we go. It's, it just doesn't look natural. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of confused 12-year-olds, put it like that. In terms of uh, problems with the game itself, it suffers from things that a lot of games in the genre suffer from, especially older games, which is a little disappointing because this is brand new, you know, they could have taken a page from something like Guild Wars or, or even like The Secret World and... Um, the Old Republic, in that the quests are very much based around using the same three moves over and over again against first five enemies, then the next quest will have you defeat seven enemies, and so on and so forth. So, the reason that this game might not appeal to some is the fact that it's, there's what could arguably be quite a sexist portrayal of the female characters, but because actually it feels quite dated in what it is. And, and I, I feel that is a shame because this is the sort of game that people will play and enjoy. I mean, there was a huge amount of women playing when I was playing earlier, and more than that though, there was just quite a polite, open, conversation or set of conversations happening in the chat box which is very rare in and of itself but in a game like this you'd expect perverts or you know you'd expect more lewd conversation it wasn't there anyway thank you for watching subscribe click across for a full review and we'll catch you soon